Hey everyone, this is Jussi Ascola. I'm the CEO of Leonberg Capital. We are a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about two specific REITs that we've been accumulating lately for our own portfolio. And before I get into it, I wanted to also let you know that I just recently created this YouTube channel. And it would be tremendously helpful if you could like this video and also consider subscribing if you're into this type of content. Thank you very much. And so the first REIT I want to talk to you about is called BSR REIT. Its ticker symbol is BSRTF in the US and HOM.U in Canada, where it's primarily listed. BSR is an apartment REIT that invests mainly in rapidly growing Texan markets like Austin, Dallas and Houston. Uh, this is the main reason why I like this street so much. I'm sure you're well aware that these markets are today experiencing very rapid growth uh, in large part because you have a lot of companies moving there because there's no state income tax. You have good access to highly qualified labor. All sorts of resources are abundant and relatively inexpensive and the local regulations are relatively friendly to businesses. So if you have your company in a state like, let's say, California, you can today move your company to, to Texas and almost overnight you're going to increase your profits, save yourself some headaches. And a lot of companies, including very big ones like Tesla, are now making the move. They're bringing a lot of jobs with them and then people follow jobs. Um, so it leads to rapid population growth and I'm sure you can easily imagine how this would benefit a REIT like BSR which uh, owns uh, well-located, high-quality apartment communities. Uh, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we have not built enough new apartment communities in recent years and, and so now you have rapidly increasing demand for apartments but the, the supply is more or less the same, it hasn't caught up to the demand and so so rents are growing rapidly as a result of this. Um, and we're not talking here about just a few percentage point rent increases. Um, in BSR hasn't reported yet its fourth quarter results of last year, but it's anticipated to grow its same property NOI by 12 to 14 percent. And that's in a single year, so it's very significant growth. Uh, I think that the growth is going to decline in 2023, but even today, their rents remain on average below 1,500 per month. Uh, the rents represents only about 20% of its uh, residents' income. Uh, that's very, very attractive compared to the around 40%, which is more common in uh, coastal markets like Los Angeles. So I think that there's still good room for rent growth in the coming years. And, on top of that, because rents are so affordable and they remain below market, you also have margin of safety if we had hit a recession sometime in the near future. So, yeah, so here you have you have a REIT that has very desirable assets uh, that that are well posi positioned for the future, that are also defensive, and typically REITs of this type will trade at a fairly expensive valuation. But against all odds, BSR is today priced at a roughly 40% discount to its net asset value, uh, which essentially means that you get to buy an interest in this portfolio at 60 cents on the dollar. Um, that's typically the valuation of a REIT that's experiencing some very uh, significant difficulties. Uh, typically REITs that are either over leveraged or mismanaged will trade at this type of valuations. But but this just isn't the case here. Uh, BSR has a strong balance sheet with about 30%, 35% loan to value. Uh, most of its debt is fix fixed or hedged. Um, it has no maturities in 2023. It also has a relatively low payout ratio, which will allow it to pay back debt uh, organically if it decided to using its own cash flow. The management is also very good. Uh, they own about 40% of the equity themselves, so they are very well aligned with shareholders. The salaries are very reasonable for, for a company of this type. They, um, they are buying back shares. There is also insider purchases. They hiked the dividend last year. Um, yeah, so, so I just don't see any major red flags here. You have a REIT with uh, very desirable properties, a good management team, strong balance sheet, 
good pro prospects for future growth and and yet it's it's heavily discounted and so that's the main reason why this is one of our top holdings at Leonberg Capital at the moment. Just to return to its net asset value, it would need to rise by about 70% and uh, while you wait, you also earn a 4% dividend yield. So, so I like the risk to reward a lot here. And so the second REIT I want to highlight to you today is called Whitestone REIT. Its ticker symbol is WSR. Uh, Whitestone is actually quite similar to BSR in that it invests heavily in rapidly growing Sunbelt markets. But unlike BSR, it doesn't invest in uh, apartment communities. Instead, it invests in service-oriented strip centers. And to give you an idea of uh, what these properties are, uh, just try to think of your local grocery store. It's probably associated to, it's probably the anchor of a strip center, which then also has other type of businesses like a barber shop, a gym, maybe a dry cleaner, quick service restaurants. Uh, this type of service oriented tenants and so as an investor I like these properties a lot because they are resistant to the growth of e-commerce because you cannot get these services easily online. They're also resistant to recession because people still need to eat in a recession. You probably won't drop your gym membership because of a recession. You, you'll probably still go cut your hair uh, unless you want your wife to divorce you. And, and the third reason why uh, I like these properties, especially in the case of Whitestone, is because, well, they are located in rapidly growing Sunbelt markets like Phoenix and Austin. And so rents are growing really rapidly. The last quarter releasing spreads were nearly 20% for Whitestone REIT. So, so its rents are deeply below market. They are now as they gradually expire, they're able to push for really large rent hikes. And, and despite all this growth, once again, this rate is priced at a very large discount to its net asset value. We estimated it to be about 40%. Uh, Whitestone actually recently sold a few of its assets. And if you use that cap rate, uh, the discount could be as large as 50%. Um, and so again, this is implying that the rate is in severe distress that perhaps its balance sheet is over leveraged or that its management is uh, poorly aligned with shareholders but it really isn't the case um, yes its balance sheet is a bit more leveraged than most of its peers but the management is focused now on deleveraging and by the end of the year they expect their debt to EBITDA ratio to be below seven which is quite reasonable for assets that are so defensive and the management itself is also very well aligned with shareholders. Uh, there is a long backstory here, but yeah, for a long time, the company used to be poorly managed, but the previous CEO got fired. Uh, the board did its uh, fiduciary duty towards shareholders, and they've now um, uh, hired a new management team that's very, very clearly focused on creating shareholder value. I've talked to them several times over the phone. I'm convinced that the company is now headed in the right direction. And, and yet the company is still heavily discounted. So just to return to its net asset value, the company would need to see its share price rise by roughly 70%. You earn a 5% dividend yield while you wait. Rents are growing rapidly. So more value is being created along the way. And so once again, I think that the uh, the risk to reward here is very attractive for shareholders. So we are arriving towards the end of the video. Thank you very much for all of you who stuck till the end. Uh, just to recap very shortly. So here we have two REITs, BSR and VS WSR that are heavily discounted. And how I see it is that you get to buy an interest in the portfolios of these REITs at roughly 60 cents on the dollar. And then you get the added benefits of professional management, liquidity, diversification, and limited liability for free on top of it. So, you know, if you're a real estate investor, I think that's very compelling. Um, how often do you get the chance to buy a rental property at a 40% discount to its fair asset value on top of uh, all these other benefits that come with it? I think it's very rare. And so that's why I'm investing so heavily in these REITs at the moment. Um, 
If you want to learn more about REIT investing, uh, consider subscribing to this channel. Again, I would greatly appreciate if you if you would like this video, it would be very helpful to us. And, and finally, if you want to learn more about my other investments, feel free to click the first link in the bio. It will redirect you to my Twitter page that you could follow to get the latest news on REIT investing. Otherwise, I wish you a happy new year and see you at my next video.